chilling targeting induced local lesions in genomes is a method in molecular biology that allows directed identification of mutations in a specific gene. Tilling was introduced in 2000, using the model plant Arabidopsis thalarana. Tilling has since been used as a reverse genetics method in other organisms such as zebrafish, corn, wheat, rice, soybean, tomato and lettuce. Overview The method combines a standard and efficient technique of mutagenesis using a chemical mutagen such as ethyl methanesylvanate with a sensitive DNA screening technique that identifies single base mutations also called point mutations in a target gene. The tilling method relies on the formation of DNA heteroduplexes that are formed when multiple alleles are amplified by PCR and are then heated and slowly cooled. A bubble forms at the mismatch of the two DNA strands, which is then cleaved by a single-stranded nucleases. The products are then separated by size on several different platforms see below. Mismatches may be due to induced mutation, heterozygosity within an individual, or natural variation between individuals. Ecotilling is a method that uses tilling techniques to look for natural mutations in individuals, usually for population genetics analysis. Decotilling is a modification of tilling and ecotilling which uses an inexpensive method to identify fragments. Since the advent of NGS sequencing technologies, tilling by sequencing has been developed based on Illumina sequencing of target genes amplified from multidimensionally pooled templates to identify possible single nucleotide changes. Topic: <laughs> Single strand cleavage enzymes. There are several sources for single strand nucleases. The first widely used enzyme was mung bean nuclease, but this nuclease has been shown to have high non-specific activity, and only works at low pH, which can degrade PCR products and dye labeled primers. The original source for single-strand nuclease was from CEL1, or CJE celery juice extract, but other products have entered the market including Frontier Genomics sniperase enzymes, which have been optimized for use on platforms that use labeled and unlabeled PCR products see next section. Transgenomic isolated the single-strand nuclease protein and sells it as a recombinant form. The advantage of the recombinant form is that unlike the enzyme mixtures, it does not contain nonspecific nuclease activity, which can degrade the dyes on the PCR primers. The disadvantage is a substantially higher cost. <laughs> <laughs> Separation of cleaved products The first paper describing tilling used HPLC to identify mutations et al. 2000 a. The method was made more high throughput by using the restriction enzyme cell I combined with the LICOR gel-based system to identify mutations Colbert et al. 2001. Advantages to using this system are that mutation sites can be easily confirmed and differentiated from noise. This is because different colored dyes can be used for the forward and reverse primers. Once the cleavage products have been run on a gel, it can be viewed in separate channels, and much like an RFLP, the fragment sizes within a lane in each channel should add up to the full-length product size. Advantages to the LICOR system are separation of large fragments approximately 2 kilobits, high sample throughput 96 samples loaded on paper combs, and freeware to identify the mutations Gelbuddy. Drawbacks to the LICOR system is having to pour slab gels and long run times approximately four hours. Tilling and ecotilling methods are now being used on capillary systems from, Advanced Analytical Technologies, Abbey and Beckman. Several systems can be used to separate PCR products that are not labeled with dyes. Simple agarose electrophoresis systems will separate cleavage products inexpensively and with standard lab equipment. This was used to discover SNPs in chum salmon and was referred to as decotilling. The disadvantage of this system is reduced resolution compared to polyacrylamide systems. Elchrom Scientific sells SpreadX gels which are precast, can be high throughput and are more sensitive than standard polyacrylamide gels. 
Advanced Analytical Technologies Inc. sells the Advanced FS96 DSDNA fluorescent system which is a 96 capillary electrophoresis system that has several advantages over traditional methods, including ability to separate large fragments up to 40 kilobits, no desalting or precipitation step required, short run times approximately 30 minutes, sensitivity to 5 pg, UL and no need for fluorescent labeled primers. Topic. Tilling centers Several tilling centers exist over the world that focus on agriculturally important species Rice, UC Davis USA. Mays, Purdue University USA. Brassica Napas, University of British Columbia CA. Brassica Rapper, John Innes Center UK. Arabidopsis, Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Soybean, Southern Illinois University USA. Lotus and Medicargo, John Innes Center UK. Wheat, UC Davis USA. P. Tomato, INRA France. Tomato, RTGR, University of Hyderabad India.